Man woke up from a 19-year coma, and what he told disturbed everyone. This man was in a coma for 19 years until something surprising happened and changed the end of the story. What did he say after two decades of sleeping? And why was it so surprising? You got curious, right? So leave your like and let's go to the video. Being in a coma is something different for each person. Some people completely black out, while others are sure they came face to face with some divine entity. But the story of our protagonist today is very different and special. Jan was born in Poland and never left, not for lack of opportunity, but out of love for his own country. His parents, just as he, loved that place, but unfortunately their city, despite being beautiful and cozy, would also be the scene of great tragedy for them. Jan has always loved trains and couldn't choose anything else to work with the rest of his life, if not at his hometown station. The man spent his days in the maintenance of these equipments. On a seemingly ordinary day, Jan got up early to go to work. But little did he know that in just a few hours, something incredible was about to happen. He walked distractedly, thinking about things he wanted for his future. When he accidentally bumped into someone, he was bewildered and didn't understand at first what had happened, until he heard a voice say, Watch your step, didn't you see me? Jan was very embarrassed and looked down quickly to help the person he had knocked to the ground, but as he looked down, his heart began to pound. Who he had bumped into was a woman who passed by every day and apparently was always late. The two stared at each other for a few seconds, but then the woman got up and unmade the romantic mood that was in the air. Jan apologized, but the woman didn't care and continued walking into the station. But he noticed that she smiled as she turned away. The two began to greet each other every day. Jan found out her name was Vanessa, and from that day on, a great passion started to grow in his heart. And before he knew it, he asked her out. The woman smiled and accepted his request. In a few weeks after the couple's first meeting, the two were already dating. The passion that the two had for each other was clear, but unfortunately, something unexpected would happen soon and put their relationship to the test. Vanessa went to her boyfriend's house. The woman had tears in her eyes, and even though she tried to hide it, she was clearly distressed. Jan didn't understand what was happening, but the girl took an object from her pocket and handed it to him. It was a pregnancy test with a positive result. Vanessa was doing well at work and didn't want to get pregnant at that point in her life, so she was desperate after seeing the test result, but she didn't expect what Jan would say. I love you, and I will love our child the same. If necessary, I'll take care of him so that you can commit to your work or study. I'll never abandon you. And be sure of one thing, I will love being a father every second of my existence. So don't worry, we'll make it together. The year was 1988, and at that time, men didn't tend to have that kind of positive attitude, especially when it came to raising a child. But everything Jan said was true, and they were eager to meet their baby. However, the man wouldn't be able to keep his promise. A week later, Jan went to work as usual, but that day a terrible thing would happen. He was doing some routine maintenance, but there was a rock and Jan didn't see it. He accidentally tripped. At first, it looked like something silly, but the man slipped and fell onto the tracks. Other employees at the scene immediately called an ambulance, but when they arrived at the hospital, doctors said there was nothing more they could do for his life. The man hit and severely injured his head. Jan was in a coma, but health professionals took away hope from the family, and especially from Vanessa, to ever see him alive again. Because according to them, in a few days, the patient would no longer have brain activity. Luckily for everyone, the doctors were wrong. Several days had passed and Jan was alive, despite still being in a coma. Vanessa had nothing she could do but pray for a miracle in hopes that her boyfriend and father of her child would wake up. She found out that the child she was expecting was actually a girl, and at that moment she was in tears thinking how much she would have loved to know this news firsthand. Before, she was apprehensive and afraid of having that baby, but now she clung to her with all her strength, because it was a gift Jan had left for her before all that mess. Even with so much prayer from Vanessa and the rest of the family, Jan didn't wake up in the next few days, or even after a year, and even ten years after the tragic event, the man was still completely unconscious, but his family would soon get good news. Jan had a slight improvement, and this excited even the doctors. However, all this happiness would not last long, as a few days later, he returned to his deplorable state of health. His family was thinking about turning off the devices and taking him off life support, but Vanessa was completely against it, as she still believed that one day her lover would wake up to meet his daughter. 
Was Vanessa right or just prolonging the inevitable? His mother went visiting him, as she always did, to update him on happenings in the family, even though he couldn't hear. The woman took his hand and started to cry because she missed his voice so much. While she was squeezing his hand, something strange happened. Jan wiggled his fingers. She ran to call the doctors on duty, who did not believe her story, but when they returned to the room, they found the patient, who they had believed had no more chance of life, with his eyes open. Vanessa was right, because after an incredible 19 years in a complete vegetative state, the man finally woke up. The doctors were flabbergasted. They'd never seen anything like this happen. But when he regained consciousness, Jan started to say very strange things that left everyone confused with what was happening. Amber was his first word. His mother didn't expect that and was in disbelief to see her son awake. So she couldn't stand so much emotion and fainted at the thought that she could only be dreaming. She didn't believe that after so many years, she was finally reunited with him. After 19 years in a coma, his first thoughts were of his little daughter, that years ago he was so eager to see being born and take care of her. Jan couldn't have imagined that he would never actually meet his little daughter, but a grown woman at the age of 19. Relatives were desperate, thinking the prolonged coma had caused brain damage, but the man fully regained his speech and could explain what was happening. He said he remembered at least the last six months of conversations his family had had with him. This was really unique and unbelievable. The doctors couldn't understand how it had happened. He now had a lot to live for and to learn. Amber, his daughter, had recently entered college as she was already 19 years old. The two cried when they finally met. Now Jan could fulfill his dream of being the father of that young woman, that even without knowing he was already sure he loved. Vanessa didn't remarry, as she always hoped that her boyfriend would wake up. And it's a good thing she insisted on that, isn't it? The man became the subject of every newspaper in the city because it was a tragic event, but now he was back, 19 years later, almost two decades, as if nothing had happened. Obviously, there were serious consequences, as Jan would never walk again, but that was nothing compared to his willpower to wake up and see everyone who loved him again. His recovery was slow, but doctors considered him a true miracle of science, possibly a request granted after so much prayer. The story's really amazing, isn't it? Also watched the story of the woman who fell in love with a homeless man, and he said something that made her jaw drop. Click on the video that's appearing on your screen right now.